Hey guys, this section is about dun, 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 reflections. So here are the things that you're going to learn. So check this out. You're going to learn what is a reflection? What is the vocab term equidistant? So check that out. What is a line of reflection? How to read the function notation? And how to do reflections on a graph? All right, so let's check it out. So the first thing that you need to know is what is reflection? So look at this bike right here. You can see that it is reflected on the water. So this thing, here, let me scroll down for you. Let's go down. So I have the image uh, a little bit less transparency here. So this original bike is called the pre-image. And then the reflected image is called just the image. Okay, so you got the pre-image and then you got the image and then what the bike is reflected over. So check out this green line right here. That's called the line of reflection. Okay, so that's pretty much what a reflection is. So let's check it out in math here. So if you have a piece of graph paper and you got a coordinate grid and you got some shapes. So again, we have right here is, I'll write fast, pre-image. And then you got the image over here. Cool, cool. So where's the line of reflection for the pre-image and the image? Well, check this out. If you look right here, this is the line of reflection, which in this case is the y-axis. So this is the y-axis, if I can spell that right, which this shape is reflected over. Now notice that the shape is kind of flipped backwards. So this point here goes to this point here. Uh, let's check out the vocab term equidistant. So what does that mean? That means that for any pre-image and its image, the points are going to be equidistant to the line of reflection. So if I have a point right here and notice how it's one, two away from the line of reflection, and so its reflected image is also one, two away from the line of reflection. That is what's called equidistant. All right, so you got that. Let's go on to the next part here and reading the function notation. So here's how you read function notation. You have the reflection, which we represent with a big uppercase R over the line of reflection, which in this case is the x-axis, and you got the pre-image that you're flipping, and then which will result in the image. So here we have the pre-image, which is this part here. Alrighty. Then we're gonna flip it over the x-axis. So the x-axis is this line right here. All right, so I'm gonna flip that over, bam, bam, and three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so I made my reflected image. So this is A prime, B prime, and C prime. So that's our reflected image, which is gonna make this thing. Okay, so that's how you read this function notation. All right, now the last thing, check this out. If you're reflecting, doing reflections on the graph in math, uh, I'll just bust down a couple of examples here. So let's say we have A, B, C here. And we're going to reflect over X equals negative 1. Let's make it hard. X equals negative 1. So that's going to be this line right here. So X is negative 1 right there. All right, so I'm going to bust this thing out. So I'm going to reflect over this line here. So we're going to measure. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 goes 8 over there. And then for point B, we got 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then C, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which is all the way over there. So bam, that's my uh, reflected image over x equals negative 1. 
Now, let me do one more just so you got the idea. Do the roof. Oh, yeah, it's going to be good. So we got y equals 2. So it's going to be right on the same line here. And then let's make our shape like this. I'm going to switch to a different color. So if our point's right here and we're reflecting it over this line, then we got to go one this way and one down. And then for these points also, so we got to go up here. So it goes one, two, and then one, two. Okay. So then our flipped shape would look something like that. All right. So if you have any questions, make sure to ask your teacher and I'll see you in the next video.